We know that we can edit shapes with wireframe editing. Um, we know that we can convert lettering to the wireframe pieces that make it up in order to make editing a little bit easier, but um, you also have the ability, depending on your level of software, to wireframe edit lettering without converting it to wireframe. So you can go in, see the pieces that make it up without breaking it apart into pieces and, and losing that uh, lettering property that it has. So that's a, an easy way to, if you have an alphabet that very closely mimics, but not exactly mimics uh, one of your customer's designs, you can use keyboard lettering to get it very, very close and then go in and just wireframe edit that to just tweak it enough to match very, very well. So let's take a look. All right, so I'm gonna start out with just some wireframe, pardon me, some keyboard lettering. Um, let's do Robin, we'll do hood. And I'm just going to grab full block. It's, a, it's an older one, um, but I think it will work well for what I'm looking for right now. Yeah. And then, actually, I'm going to do this as two lettering segments because it's going to make my life a little bit easier. And we all know I'm incredibly lazy, and anything I can do to make my life easier, I'm going to do. So I'm going to duplicate that, move that down. I want to offset this a little bit to match what my customer needs. There we go. And then, let's say it was, I don't know, bank and trust. And that's huge, so we're gonna shrink this down. That's too small, but I'll scale it this way instead. And maybe, maybe we'll go in and we'll track that out a touch with that horizontal spacing. A little bit more. There we go. That's starting to look a little bit better. All right. So we've got this set up. Um, guessing this would all be kind of a dark green. And then this would be black. Now, what I really want to do is I want to, this is really, really close, but I want to take this R and I want to swoop it kind of under the O. Um, there are a lot of, of logos and logo types and logo marks that, that kind of match uh, a, a typeface very, very closely, but they will modify a, a character or two. So we're just going to do the same thing. So I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to select the single letter that I want to edit. And then I'm going to wireframe edit it. To do that, uh, I can either come up onto my toolbar up here and I can click on wireframe editing and I get access to all those points. I could have also right clicked on it and gone to wireframe editing. So there's a couple different ways to do that. And now I'm going to bring this in to a little bit more of a point I'm going to hold control, click on that other point to get both of them, and I'm going to bring the end over here. I could probably bring that in just a touch more. And now I want to really swoop this under, curve this out. So to change this from a straight point to a curve point, I'm going to hold shift and click on it. That's pretty close, but I want to bring it in a little bit. So I'm going to hold control and drag on it. Now, uh, one thing to watch when you're doing this, I'm going to do the same thing with the top one real quick. So I held shift, clicked on it, and it, and it lined up, or uh, swapped to a curve. One thing I want you to pay attention to, uh, when you're dealing with curves like this, you can create the same shape with uh, your curve points in different places. Now I'm using column one right now that's what this alphabet was digitized with and with a column one the the two points are joined so whenever I move one wireframe point I'm actually moving it in relationship to the other and that line between them generates a stitch direction for you so watch my stitches I can create that same shape 
there's that same curve. I just moved my curve point and watch what happens to all of my stitches. They all are just bunched up and crazy. So whenever you have a, a stitch like this um, or a curve like this, what I would really like you to kind of visualize in your head is like uh, spokes on a bicycle wheel or something like that, where you have just that section of the wheel that you're looking at. And I want you to think of your stitch directions as extensions of those spokes and that will really help your stitches start to fan a little bit better so let's go back in and I'm going to say that and I'm drawing almost off screen so up here would be maybe the center of my spoke and I'm gonna come down kind of down so that you get kind of the idea and I'm drawing on screen with my finger and not using a ruler so you can see just how incredibly straight those lines are. Um, but if you think about that and you kind of match your stitch direction lines to what would be a spoke on the wheel, look how much uh, more cleanly those stitches flow through that form. So let me get these lines off here. Look how much more cleanly these come through the form. So that will help your stitches from bunching up. It's going to give you a cleaner sew out. But you just changed the overall look of that very, very easily. Um, and you can do the same thing to any wireframe letter. So if I wanted to, I could start wireframe editing this D and I could add a curve point and since it's a column one it's actually adding two one on one side one on the other I'm gonna grab these guys and I'm gonna bring them down here and bring them a little bit closer together and then I'm going to hold control and drag this out now I'm doing a very very bad thing right now but I'm not gonna leave it that way I've kind of bow tied I've crossed my lines it's it's giving the stitches just all kinds of problems but since I'm planning on correcting it, I'm not too stressed about it there we go bring that guy back in a little bit there so now you can start adding flares to letters or modifying them as you need to same thing with this piece. So I'm going to go select just the letter, go into wireframe editing. I'm going to give myself another point to, to edit against here. And then let's move this out for a second. I'm going to add a curve point in there. I'm going to drag these guys down. So I'm holding control to select multiple ones. Bring this up holding control to arc out perfectly. This is going to give me a really nasty stitch direction for a minute, but when I edit this one, it will clean things up for me quite a bit. So you have the ability to go in and edit your wireframe, pardon me, your keyboard lettering using wireframe editing to better achieve a, a look that's far closer to um, your customer's uh, logo mark or whatever they are asking you to do for them without having to start from scratch with digitizing. You can put some lettering up here, get it really close, and then edit it to make it match. And it's a lot less work for you, um, and it's a lot easier than digitizing the whole thing from scratch.